Okay, great. Um, I'll call this uh, meeting of the planning board, the village of Cold Spring, to order. Um, we have a few items uh, on the agenda today, including a public hearing. Um, so I think we can just jump right into it. Um, so for 40 Main Street, uh, we have uh, updated presentation. Uh, Rachel, would you like to come and walk it, walk through the board? Uh, oh, sure. I got printed copy as well. Yeah, we have we have we have copies okay. up here. So, um, but yeah, but we'd love to hear. I'll sit here. Yeah, you can sit there. It's fine. Um, I think. Oh, well, yes, I... Apologies. Yeah. I jumped ahead. <laughs> um. Uh. I, I, I need to ask the board. Um, uh, would anyone like to add or, or uh, modify agenda items? No. No? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, we don't have any minutes to approve. Um, are there any reports of members? No. 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 Okay. Uh, we have no correspondences. Now we'll move on to yeah. business. Um, Rachel, please. Uh, enlighten us. Sure. Yeah. So well, thanks again for having me. Uh, I think after the last meeting, we definitely took our time to kind of do some of our research and just to address the issue that, you know, came up last in our last conversation, I think it's pretty important to, you know, have a solution to each of these concerns. Yep. Um, so I think um, as you can see the presentation um, on, you know, after the cover page, uh, we kind of wanted to explain sort of why we came with this idea and how, you know, there are some sort of context around, this is not a new concept. Um, you know, if this is not a gym, you know, we have ATM, car wash, the car laundromat, they're all sort of, you know, on staff retail concepts. And I think the on set um, the on-staff gyms based on our research has been very common. We actually got inspired by a gym in Park Slope, Brooklyn called Kingscape Fitness, uh, which my husband used to go to, which is he just used to pee and go in, book a slot and work out. Mm -hmm. um, it just creates a lot of convenience uh, and really good quality amenities for the village. Uh, and also just to promote, you know, general wellness and, uh, you know, mindfulness about health. Um, and um, there are a lot of examples around the world, actually, um, you know, uh, of sort of this business model um, of, of staff gyms, either large size or franchise or just a boutique gym locally. Um, so we also highlighted some of the, the benefits that this particular location will provide. Um, we will limit capacity um, so that, you know, everyone feels safe, feel private and very comfortable. And uh, the operating hours, unlike most of the on-staff gyms will be, you know, limited, not just 24 seven, so that, you know, people can just enjoy the quiet time. It's not super weird and, you know, on Main Street, mm -hmm. with the lights on. Um, and also, I think the noise will be pretty minimum because it just it's made out of rock. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we will also install some of the cushions as well, just to make sure that we don't disturb our, our neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, and also the capacity, you know, we don't really foresee a lot of issues with parking just because, you know, there are not going to be a lot of people there at the same time anyway, like three max. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really and also we kind of can part of you to walk yeah because suppose people are going to be around the same area anyway mm -hmm. um and uh i will make it affordable flexible and uh just sort of trying to create that well-being mentality and if you go to the next page we sort of highlighted some of the uh different types of devices and infrastructure that we'll install in the gym that'll you know ensure safety um and prevent or minimize or mitigate, uh, you know, injuries, accidents, emergencies, um, and crimes that we have uh, that we mentioned last time. So surveillance cameras will be in place uh, throughout the gym. There will be multiple: the door, middle of the gym, um, rear end of the gym. And we will be uh, installing panic buttons. Uh, I think rain will be a good solution for that because you can just press it. Um, we will have, you know, it connects to. So it connects to a subscribed call center. Um, they will be the ones that when you press it, you know, someone from the end, um, the, the end of the line will answer and then kind of call out what if needed. And also we'll get a notification on our phone as well. It's like an emergency alert. Um, safety station that, you know, has provides first kit, a, fir a first aid kit and uh, the AED thing. 
Um, I think I'm also open to explore, you know, CPR, AED affiliated program so that, you know, if members are interested, we can just kind of join in on the same program. Just going to learn about how to do CPR. Um, smart lock. So I think the, uh, uh, we mentioned that the app that we're going to be using um, is has like a associated company that door, does like the door locks. So whenever someone books the time, an automatic code will be sent to their phone to ensure that you know only that one person can use, the, uh, use that code to get it. Um, apart from that, the, uh, the next slide is basically how we can create like a safe gym environment, you know, signage for safety, a brochure to kind of do orientation for the, for the members. Um, full building fire control system with talk to the owner. She said everything is pretty up to, up to code to date. Um, and all that sort of fire systems alarms are in system, uh, in place. And uh, the, the place will be clean um, with rest stations in place to kind of make sure that someone needs to take a break. They have water, they have towels, they can take a break, they can just have a breather. Um, you know, overall, it's, it's going to be a very comfortable space for, for everyone. Yeah. Um, I think from the client, that's from the gym perspective. <laughs> and the client perspective, I think we need to always well, recommend it, but we do want to make sure that we do create exercise screening to kind of uh, identify any particular you know, precautions or, you know, sort of medication when they're on or any sort of heart problems or, you know, sort of cardiovascular disease, um, just to make sure they have medical clearance before they actually join us. But also I think our equipments are, we're not sort of a CrossFit or like hit workout area. Yeah. It is, you know, it's pretty moderate. Um, yeah. We have a bike, we're going to have like a skier. So it's not going to be super intense. Um, so it's kind of, no one's going to go that cold. I hope not. Um, a liability waiver is going to protect the gym and us. Um, everyone's going to sign up uh, when they first join as members, and uh, there will be a client orientation or induction just to kind of walk them through everything that's uh, all the precautions and the safety measures. Uh, we'll also get the uh, liability insurance as well from a pretty reputable insurer. Uh, they have this very specific. Uh, Insurance policy is very like um, designed for fitness gyms and um, owners and facilities. So that's like the main main deck. Um, and afterwards, it's just a sample of a pre a pre screening questionnaire um, that is sort of designed by the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Um, later on, a sample liability waiver. <coughs> Um, and the colored version of the site plan building. Um, and the floor plan. The, um, are there, are there doors, uh, that go into the alley there? I the think side? it goes to the office. Oh, to the, to the, yeah, it's like, I think it does go to the alley at the office. Alley and the office. Are those going to be locked? There's going to be like an emergency, fire emergency. Okay. Yeah. That's on the back. Uh, I think from the side, there's like, Yeah, it's like next to the bathroom. Next to that bathroom. Yeah. Oh, well, this is part of the building with the apothecary. Right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So left, left most. Got, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Uh, thank you for, for putting all this together. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. Um, it really helps make uh, it clear kind of what the what the use is going to be and things we should be thinking about. Um, are there any um, more questions or thoughts that folks want to post to that? Are you going to have a sign in for people to know that, oh, there are already three people at the gym? Is there like a way for people to know yeah. at that capacity? So the app <clears throat> itself will limit the capacity. Yeah. So when three spaces run out, they will, they're not able to see it. I have no additional questions. Um, I think um, I, I think there's not really much more we can learn about this um, in, in terms of uh, 
in terms of the use and and um, so I'm I willing to to move uh, if someone wants to make a motion to consider this application complete. I just have a question. There, there's a big window on the front, right? On the front, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what's your plan on? You're gonna have like sheer curtains or something? No. You just, you're yeah. just have it open. Have it open. Okay. It's a little smoky, isn't it? <clears throat> or is it not? No, the not glass right. isn't smoky. No, yeah. It's oh, because I always try to peer in it. It's hard for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I'll make a motion to consider this complete. <coughs> second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, so now we need to plan uh, to schedule a hearing date. Okay. Um, so next uh, planning board meeting is the 12th, which I think not going to be enough time to get something published mm -hmm. uh, and distributed. So I think that means over the next one will be the 25th of July. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So Thursday, right? Thursday, okay. yeah. Um, what is everyone's availability? You're not here? Turn, uh, uh, 25th is uh, fine. Thanks. I'll be here. Go ahead and schedule for the 25th of July, 2024. And this is where neighbors are informed? So in the, in the intervening time, um, certified mail copies will be sent to um, uh, a list of neighbors that we identify. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll bring um, proof of, or you'll send proof of, proof of certified mail mm -hmm. to um, the board uh, secretary. Um, and uh, what else we got? Uh, just the publication, but the oh, uh, oh, yeah, the oh, yeah. To that. yeah, yeah. And uh, people on the other side of the street are they included? We, in we the will, circle. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get to the side with we'll, we'll kind of where we consider okay. relevant. So, but but yeah, I I think for me it's it's uh, adjacent properties plus ones that are across street. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Next is six East Belvedere. Welcome back. It is. Um, did you receive the um, report from the village engineer? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. So we we received that. I think um, moving forward yeah, that. Um, um, so well. I think it's worth reviewing. Well, there's a number of asks in there. I can I can kind of like summarize it to you, but I think um, so. The couple things to make note of um, with the street of East Belvedere currently kind of being known as private. There's a there's a um, uh, in Chapter 111-16.E. There's a um, a requirement that says um, for a lot that's being created. Uh, that has access from uh, private streets. Access from private streets shall be deemed acceptable only if such streets are designed and improved in accordance with these regulations. Now, the the regulations are for the streets are about what you would expect for a street, um, sidewalks and pavements and other things like that. None of which Belvedere has. Sure. Um, at the board's discretion, we can waive that requirement. Um, uh, I would. Encourage members to consider that as something that is reasonable in this case, considering the history of East Belvedere and its current state. Um, that's that's a thing that we will have to kind of navigate when it okay. when it comes time for the hearing. Um, but the the request from the village engineer and actually Will is here uh, with us over Zoom. Um, uh, actually, Will, since you're here. And maybe it's maybe it's useful for you to give a quick rundown of what's in what's in the report, and the applicant can um, review it offline as well. Sure, uh, uh, I can run through a couple of the the um, big items. Um, you mentioned the one that was uh, pretty significant about the uh, 
improvement of Belvedere or wave net requirement. Um, the uh, other big thing is that um, there's a history of drainage issues on East Belvedere. So whatever uh, gets developed on the on the proposed lot, we uh, the village should make sure that there's adequate uh, ability to have some sort of stormwater treatment. So that way, uh, any sort of future development doesn't uh, increase stormwater runoff from the site. So uh, there's sufficient uh, area on the lot to take the stormwater that would come from a, a new house or something and infiltrate it back into the ground, thereby uh, making sure that whatever runoff comes in the future matches or reduces what it is now. Um, that was the, uh, the other big uh, item. Uh, the other items in the memo are fairly straightforward things, uh, just taken straight out of the code, uh, open space requirements, uh, my, uh, property monuments, showing those on the plat, uh, just getting a confirmation from the water and sewer superintendent that the sewer is okay in that area. No, there doesn't need to be any additional improvements to the sewer. Uh, uh, other small items like that. Like I said, the two yeah. big items are the are the uh, ownership of the street and its improvement and stormwater. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Will. I appreciate it going down. So, um, just a quick kind of summary of of some of that. So, the in terms of stormwater management, the the benchmark is we don't want to make we don't want to make things worse by making a new lot, putting some house there, some uh, and and the, and the resulting probably driveway that goes along with it, right? So um, in order to try to guard against making the situation worse for that neighborhood, um, a uh, hydrologic analysis that will look at the maximum build-out, which I think is 30 percent uh, block coverage build-out with a, that's the, that's the allowed build, like, Busy allowed to make thirty percent of the lot non permeable, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so the the analysis will basically be a maximum build out analysis uh, with the driveway to uh, to try to characterize what would be required in order to make the the, the stormwater management at least neutral, if not reduce. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Yeah. Um, oh, and the, the the last addition to that is that. Um, there's a, I think there's trees or at least a tree that's like kind of in the, in the middle of the buildable space. So yeah. that, that scenario probably should consider that tree having to be removed as a part of that. Now it should be a small, I believe it's a small part of, of the hydrologic analysis, but it's something that should be considered. Okay. So uh, how do we go about this? Yeah. 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 So the next, so basically, so you have a you have an engineering firm, and I think you commissioned to do the original uh, um, uh, plan. site plan. Um, I I think that like I would check with them to see if they're able to do a hydrologic analysis. Um, uh, well, you you thought that that was something that would should be within their purview, right? It should be for for your engineer. Um, it should be a fairly straightforward ask. What he would do is uh, do some. Uh, cal cal calculations to figure out what's coming off the site under existing conditions and then what it would look like under uh, max build out conditions and what sort of storm order would be required for the max build out and then do you have space on the site to actually put that storm order in there so my question is, yeah. is because I'm not building yeah. myself and you know we deemed it a minor subdivision already yeah. right yeah what is um you know, are we just doing this to make sure that somebody else can build on it, really? Yeah, so or, the, you can think about it like this. Like, if you if you take these things two separately, right? We say, oh, we're, we're just going to consider, like, is can we subdivide this from a, from a dimensional requirement, subdivide it, and then it goes on to someone else, and then they build whatever they're going to build. Um, that doesn't come back to us. This is our time to make sure that whatever the, whatever... Um, stipulations are associated with that plot. Um, they can be they can be basically codified in as association with the creation of the lot. So as an example, 
we do the analysis, we say, okay, it needs, you know, whatever it needs, like what, like additional stormwater containment or additional drainage lines or whatever, whatever the, whatever the suggestion is that that can be filed along with the creation of the plot as a requirement for a future build. And so this is going to have to be sent to the county as well. Or is this for you guys? I'm this, just trying to gauge it would, be, it would be filed with it would be filed with the plot. And I'm not sure if we would need to make an additional notification of that. And I think yeah, like, yeah, I don't think so. No. So this is specifically just for you guys, basically. It is uh it is well it's it's our request, but it it is to it is to be filed uh, like along with the 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 creation of the new plot. So basically it's now associated with that block uh, that plot of land yeah so that a that a future owner when they attempt to build the the building inspector uh will note that as a part of a requirement for building on that on that property okay and uh what is again hydro what it, it uh it's a hydrologic analysis but i think it's the the will drainage detail. study yeah drainage study yeah drainage study yeah all right and then this is at basically at my engineer's speed to be able to get it to you guys, correct? Yeah, and, and then Will will basically audit it to, to to make sure it seems reasonable, and and we'll figure out what um what needs to go from there. And in terms of the 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 broad timeline, I think like when we first met in March was it March when we first met, um you know it's noted that that like the for the subdivision because it's a it's slightly different process than a normal uh, planning a normal planning application process for a change of use that there's the there's the pre-application to get, get the designation sure. of, of major or minor then there's the actual like workshop phase where we try to get to a complete application and then we go to a public hearing okay uh and i think i noted then that it was probably like probably six month-ish no, process not at all I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, because this is uh, this is the last thing I need to close on the house and the property itself. Yeah. So obviously time is of the essence for me because it's like, you know, 600 bucks a day I pay. In, in no, I, I, I understand. Yeah. Um, I can I can see if I can find a reference to it in the video from that okay. from that from that. Well, I don't I don't need that. I'm not, yeah. I'm not pressing you for that. Yeah. I just again, I want to, you know, we're trying to move it. We're, yeah. we're trying to move it as, along as quickly as we can. I think with this um, with this. Uh, once we have the the analysis, I think we're like very close to to being to having the the application complete. Okay. To move forward. So I think like if you can get that back to us in yeah. short order, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, that I think like we can um, probably by next time, hopefully we can say we can decide that the application is complete, and then we'll um, get the public hearing scheduled as soon as as possible after there. Okay, and then next time being the twelfth or the twenty fifth. Uh, the twelfth. Okay. I think if you uh, go the fifteenth. No, no, sorry. No, you're right. Twelfth. So. Yeah. Once um, you get Will's report, I think if you bring that to your engineer, they'll know what to do and they should be able to. Uh, okay, so I'm waiting on the on the forwarded report. So I need to come with the forwarded report and then ask for the drain. And, and I think I even we have we have copies here. Yeah. If if you uh, just to, we'll definitely forward it to you. But, okay. Um, I just did. I don't know. Beautiful. You Thank you. <laughs> okay. Any other questions or? Yeah, and then after yeah. the 12th, you said that's when we could schedule the public hearing? Yes. As long as everything goes well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, I guess we could try to be aggressive and, and schedule something in advance. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you should wait until you have the complete application to actually schedule it. But yeah. if we are anticipating having a complete application, there's no reason we can't. Get the notice and everything ready to go. So uh, for July twenty fifth, right for the public hearing. For the, for the, it would have to be on the thirteenth, then, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so I have to make sure I get that in. Okay. And then last question, I just want to make sure that the yeah. um, the information that needed to be sent to the county, okay. what was the date that it was sent? Because I know they have thirty days to respond. Do you have that on hand? I don't, but I think we are probably pretty close to that. We've sent I don't it. think so. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the date is, but um, um, yeah, I think uh, for what it's worth, we usually don't hear much. Okay, um, no worries. I mean, oh. I mean, we've been pretty speedy and spot on with yeah. everything as it is, yeah. so it's like yeah. you know, it's all, all we can really ask for. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah. All right. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any other, sorry, before, before we wrap up, does anyone have any other comments or questions no. for the applicant? No. Okay. Cool. Thanks again, guys. Wait. See you next time. Yeah. Next time I'll bring donuts. I feel like they're all the time. There is. There is donuts. Yeah. Supreme Court just rules you can't bribe public okay. officials, but you can. After the fact. You can reward them after the fact. After the fact. <laughs> but if you eat the evidence. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the main event. Uh, we have a public hearing today for 72 um, Main Street application for change of use. Um, can I get a motion to open the public hearing? I would uh, move to open the public hearing for 72 Main Street. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Hearing is open. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read the notice into the record. That's what we should do. Uh, all right. Uh, please take notice that the Planning Board of the Village of Cold Spring will hold a public hearing pursuant to 134-16-1.DG. <clears throat> Village Law on Thursday, June 27th, 2024, Village Hall, 85 Main Street, Cold Spring, New York. Uh, members of the public are invited to attend the in-person meeting of Village Hall or through video conference if you're here. Um, we, the Planning Board will consider the application by uh, Brian Torme uh, of Garrison. Uh, the owner is uh, uh, 7276 Cold Spring. Um, the subject property designated 48-12-2-25 on the tax map is at 72 Main Street, Cold Spring, New York, in the business B1 district, as well as the village, village's historic district. The applicant's proposed change from retail to food service requiring site plan review for change of use and parking table of village law. Application materials are available on the website. Um, the, planning the planning board will consider all verbal and or written statements from all persons interested in the proposed application in the various manner described above. The planning board will also consider such further relief as it finds necessary. Thank you. All right, so, um, clerk. Hey. Hi. Um, have, uh, has the notice been timely published in the official newspaper? Yeah. Okay. Um, has the applicant provided proof of mailing to affected parties? Because. Okay. You have this stone for for no, 87 main, 66 main, 5 for 73 main, 68 main, 75 main, 80 main, 79 main, and 70. Anyone like to look through? Well, no, no, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Um, has the village clerk received any comments from the public, whether in writing or email? No comment, my mind. Or in person. They stopped by, gave you a piece of their mind. <laughs> um, okay. Um, we we made this we made a secret determination of this earlier, didn't we? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I mean it's a type two. Yeah. Um, would it, it is it for avoidance of doubt? Should we go ahead and state for the record that it's a, that we've determined it was type sure. two? Okay. Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, we we determined this was a type two action under seeker. Um. All right. Um. Let's move on. Um, would you like to describe the application to the to the uh, sure. public? Should I sit up there? So, I'm sure. yeah. so we and, and upon some further research, interestingly, we found that historically the building was in fact a butcher shop and delicatessen many many years ago. Yeah. Um, back to its roots. Back to its roots. So we are with uh, with Devon Street's roots, taking the, what was Kismet back to its roots as a delicatessen. The proprietor, Mr. Flagler, is here in the audience and will be uh, establishing a, sort of a wonderful little eatery space with takeaway food, 
um, and drinks uh, in what was in 72 Main. Um, it will have a small amount of outdoor seating in the sort of side yard between 72 and 76 Main. Uh, and as well as it's some indoor seating as shown on the plan. Thanks. The kitchen will be in the rear, sort of, you know, rest, all, all the sort of inter internal walls are remaining as they are. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy to go into more depth, but I feel like I'm just it's, eating it's, your evening. Yeah, it's, it's fine with me. Um, I think this the, the plans have not changed since the last we reviewed them, right? Yep. Um, and I did bring back in some of the larger copies if you wanted. I think we will probably need them afterwards. Uh, anyone have any? Uh, no, okay. gonna, if, uh, if the plans have been changed since last time, I okay. Uh, and the sign was going to be on the glass. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'll, I'll open the the meeting to public comment now. Um, reminder to the public: uh, have, please. Um, State your names and addresses for the record. Um, uh, remember that questions should be addressed to the board and not the applicant. Um, uh, the, the board may choose to inquire to the applicant to provide clarification, but it may not. Um, and um, board is not required to answer questions probably public, posed by the public unless it is procedural in nature, but we will do our best. Um, and uh, written comments must be read to the record, which we have none. So. Um, I think uh, I'll start in the room and then we'll go online and uh, go from there. Are there any folks who would like to make comment here in the room? I'll start. Okay. Um, my name's Carol Powell. Okay. So I live and work in the village. Um, I know Brian for several years. I know the Flaglers and I'm in full support of the project. Okay. I think it would be a great idea and a great venture. Okay. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the room that would like to make public comment? Okay, we'll move online. Is there anyone online that would like to uh, make a public comment with respect to this hearing? Going once, or twice. Thank you for watching. Um, all right, if there's no more um, interest, um, then get a motion to close the public comment in the record. I'll make a motion to close the public comment. Record. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Public comment is closed. Um, all right, we'll move on to the, the board comment phase of this. Um, no. 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 Um, so, uh, I mean, this is this is a relatively straightforward um, application. The, the main addition I think is that's required is, um, you know, we, we do need to make a request from the village board to provide a waiver, a parking waiver um, for this, uh, which I think is appropriate given the number of uses active on the on the property and the limited the limited parking that they're not available. Uh, I also. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I think it's it's a good, it's a great addition to um, as a use to the to the village, and and um, uh, and uh, I'm, I think it, it's a, it's a net, net benefit to to the um, main street tapestry. Anyone have anything else they would like to add? Or... No. Oh, more food options. Simple food options are yeah, nice to have. Um, okay. Um, does this go to any other board after us? I'll just see uh, just the waiver. village board for those. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, all right. Well, um, if there's no more comment, um, I'll uh, ask for a vote to approve the application and authorize the chair to sign the resolution. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, resolution passes. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Um, so uh, I believe Jonathan has a, a draft. Yep. Um, and does it include the, uh, I mean, you all, we also have a draft of the, of the letter to the village board. That's right, yeah. Okay. And actually, I don't remember if you did it last time or not, but if not, then um, 
the board should make a motion to authorize you to uh, submit a letter to the village board concerning. I think we did last time, time but so. um, yeah, because I think we I initially thought maybe we'd do it before, but on reflection procedurally, I think it's more complicated if I do it before. So. Um, okay. Um, uh, to the resolution. Mm -hmm. Do we just said last time that I don't actually need to read the whole thing into, no. into the record? Okay. And I've actually that one's got a uh, highlight on it, so I can send you a cleaned up copy if you want. That um, oh, is so otherwise... so this this doesn't go before the HCMB. right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, especially for helping uh, get this on the docket for today. I appreciate that. Thank you for your uh, you. attentive, attentive uh, uh, yes. working with us on, on getting the getting things through. Um, we can only work as fast as you. Absolutely. Uh, well, thank you. Okay. Um, we have any more business? Well, would anyone like to make a motion to adjourn for the evening? I'll make a motion to adjourn for the evening. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.